hello 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 welcome back to divine destiny guide i hope you're doing well scorpio i am back with another reading for you if this is your first time i welcome you i hope that this message will resonate with you you'll become a part of the family here by subscribing giving these videos a thumbs up leaving a comment if you felt led to do so if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for journeying with me, encouraging me, supporting me in however way you can. Thank you so very much. I feel blessed, truly blessed to have you in my life as well. So as I was uh, shuffling, I'm, I always meditate and you know just to see what spirit has to say for us and the cards that came out the first one was to sever vows of poverty dear one there is no need to suffer or sacrifice hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all direction of time so a lot of people you know were stuck in that poverty mindset that lack mindset and spirit wants to help us or spirit is telling us to cut those cords you know get rid of those vows you it's not how you start it's how you finish yes our families our parents or whomever you're raised with or live with you know, growing up or now, it may seem that there is like a lack mentality that's going on in the family. And this is why a lot of you, you are chosen. I believe that the subscribers that I have, the ones who I'm connected with, and because of that, I'm able to pull messages for us because we're having these struggles going on in our lives it is no coincidence that you are here and it truly takes people who are courageous to be a part of this channel this is not for the weak or the faint of heart because this channel and the work that I'm doing for the divine, it's the honest, blunt truth. And not everybody is open. Not everybody is ready for this word. Not everybody wants to change. People just love to talk. Some people just love to talk because they can open their mouth. Talk is cheap, but actions speak louder than words. And so I believe that this channel is for people, for persons who really are serious, who wants to make a change, people who are actually working on themselves, people who want to break generational curses, people who know that they were called and meant for greater things. It doesn't have to end this way. It is not how we start. It is how we finish, guys. And Spirit is saying, finish strong. Finish strong. Release the insecurities. Release the spirit of doubt. Spirit is challenging us to cut off, to sever any vows of poverty that we have made, whether it's consciously or unconsciously because all it takes is one idea all it takes is that for you to step out 
in faith to do something and that can change the direction for yourself and for your family. Sever vows of poverty, cut, cut off that negative mindset, that negative thinking that it's only meant for certain race, certain culture. Nobody in my family ever did it. Well, maybe you are the one. You are called to do this. Even if you think that, you know, you're up in age, you're mature, what can I do? You're still alive. You can make a contribution. Paul planted, Apollos watered, and God got the increase. So sometimes we may start something and it takes for you, it will take your children or your grand, great grand to carry on the legacy and have it going down the cycle. Spirit wants you to get rid of that negative mindset when it comes to money. You need to be open to know that you attract abundance. I attract wealth. Speak these things to yourself. Speak life so you and your descendant can live. The power of life and death is in the tongue. Sometimes we, we say things to ourselves that we don't even know that we did. And this is why Spirit is saying, whether we've done or said these things consciously or unconsciously, you know, it's like speaking out to the atmosphere that I break any chain, any shackles that is restricting or holding any abundance that is coming to me. You need to open your mouth, speak life into yourself, speak life into your dead situation because maybe why you're in lack, it's because of what you have been saying to yourself all along. Spirit is saying, cut it out, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And if, if anybody said it over you, break that. No weapons form against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against me in judgment, I condemn that. Whatever we bind on earth, just know that we have the power within us that God will come along with us and bind that thing in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth, so we loose the shackle, loose the, the thoughts that we've had when it comes to our, our material wealth, our abundance, money. We open that. We lose that. And whatever we lose on earth, it also will be loose in heaven. And so the floodgates of heaven will be able to pour in because we are ready. Our mind is fertile. Our heart is prepared and ready for this blessing. That's what we need to do. The other card that came out it's obstacles and blocks are lifted. Yes, I'm getting these messages because for so long, so many of you, so many of us have been held down, held back, whether it's by ourselves or other people. And now the wheel, the tide is turning in your favor. And so Spirit is saying obstacles, so all these obstacles that were in your way, all these blocks, they are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow 
of abundance continues. Wow. Stay centered in gratitude, thanksgiving, giving God thanks. I, I have on a lot of my videos talk about giving thanks. We love when we give people or someone anything, they say thank you. And so it is on earth as it is in heaven. When the divine is blessing us or has blessed us, even blessings that we have not yet seen, we need to be thankful for what has been done, that which is going to happen, and that which is happening now. Live in gratitude. Be centered in thanksgiving. Because no matter how bad your situation is, in your corner of the world where you are right now, just know that others are going through worse than you are. So let us give thanks. Let us give thanks. Be centered because obstacles and blocks are lifted. And, and the key here is stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. So if you want, see, th this, is, this is a gem right here. If you want the floodgates of heaven to keep flowing in and out of your life, the key here is giving thanks. Giving thanks. A lot of us, we complain too much. And this is why we end up cursing ourselves. The power of life and death is in the tongue. And so this is why so many of us, because we don't see things happening on our time, we decide that we're going to just speak negative on ourselves, curse ourselves. group ourselves with everybody else. And Spirit is saying that it's now time for you to cut those, cut out those way of thinking. Because obstacles and blocks are lifted. Say thank you. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God. And your faith opens the doorway to receive it. Wow. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Again, abundance. Know where your help come from. God is your source, not man. Not man. So stop relying on other people. Stop giving humans all the credit and give credit where credit is due. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God. It's like when you see that eight, that infinite, that means there is no end. It just keeps flowing and flowing. It's supplied by the source of God and your faith, your faith, opens the door to receive faith faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not yet seen and i've heard i've heard readers who said that you know they don't believe in blind faith I believe in blind faith because there is something about believing when you have not yet received it. And when you watch and see how that manifests and it comes to pass, that just makes your faith in God even stronger. That makes your faith in God more concrete. We have faith every day we go out the door. When you go, if you drive, even if you take the bus, whatever, 
But if you drive, you have faith that when you put that car, you touch the button, that engine is going to start. You have faith that when you leave out, you're going to go home, back home at the end of the day. There is no lack or limitation when it comes to God. Rather, there is plenty of abundance. And we saw the card here. It says, stay centered in thanksgiving and gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. So having faith and being gratitude, be thankful. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. Wow, look. This, this is like a money read, I don't know. But this card at the back, it says, release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. See money as a tool you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Wow. Release resentment about money, any hatefulness, any bitterness. Yes, it may seem as if it's unfair. This is what it's saying. The money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding grudges about finances, it only pushes it away. And here we have the tools. Be centered in gratitude giving thanks and having faith having faith and knowing that in god the god you serve there is no lack there is no limitation there is no cap there is no boundaries when it comes to our abundance god came that we will have life and have it more abundantly not to live in lack. And this is the thing. So many uh, people who are going to church, they believe that, you know, you should be poor, barefoot. If somebody else is driving or wearing something nice, oh, they are not a Christian. No. We have, and, and we serve a God. Like it says here, there is no lack or limitations. There is plenty of abundance for all to share. And, and Spirit is saying, don't think about money selfishly as hoarding it. But when we shift our mindset, it's like if you're going to make a business, don't let it just be about me and my family, me being rich. But how can you bless others? by giving others jobs, giving back to the poor and the needy. Shift your mindset about money, Spirit is saying. See it as a way of you where you can use it to, to help to serve the world. And this is why you see a lot of philanthropists, a lot of people who are rich, they give back. Because understand this, that the more you give, the more you will receive. It's a flow. Spirit can't give when you're already full. You're hoarding everything. You alone want to receive, but you don't want to give others. You don't want to bless. It can't work like that. It won't work like that. Raise our promotion. Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action. 
based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Wow. Obstacles and blocks are removed. This is what it tells us here that all our good, good personal work and your positive energy, all of this is now shifting for you. And Spirit is saying a raise or promotion is in order for some of you. And I say some of you because we're all, you know, on different cycles. So let us celebrate the people who are coming into the season of abundance. Because the sooner they get blessed, then that means the sooner we will get blessed or vice versa. So obstacles are lifted, blocks are lifted out of your way. And this is why all of this is coming in. Spirit is saying release those things that no longer serve us. And here is another card of release again. Release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. Oh man, this is beautiful. This is, uh, and, and to be honest with you, I didn't see this card. I didn't look at it yet. But like I said, let us celebrate other people when they're coming into their victory. Release jealousy. Because again, sometimes this sneak up on us, we don't even realize it. You know, you look over at somebody else and you just think, oh man, I wish I had that. And Spirit is saying jealousy is an affirmation. This is like you saying to yourself, I am blessed and highly favored. I am above and not beneath. So when you harbor jealousy, this is you telling yourself that you are this. And Spirit is saying that, that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. So again, whatever you speak, the power of life and death is in your tongue. When you sow that seed, that thought, it grows. Spirit, and, 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 and again, you put that out into the atmosphere and it will manure, it manure, manifest, it will come to life. Spirit is saying, let other people's success inspire you. Say, wow, that is beautiful. You know, yes. I, that's what I'm aspiring to. That's what I'm, I would like to have, you know, in my life, but in a healthy, positive way. Let that person let you want to get up, put some clothes on, go and work on your dreams. Because Spirit is saying, if they can have it, so can you. The possibilities are endless. And we started out to sever the vows of poverty. If others can have it, so can you. So can you. Mm. Quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from the inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Spirit wants you to take some time by yourself to reflect. Reflect on what it is you need to do, your next move. Detox your friends. Your abundance flow has been affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Yes, and this is what I, I hope that when you, you become a supporter, a subscriber, a family, a friend, a brother and sister of this channel, you are inspired because you're among people who are inspiring you. Be generous and supportive. 
who wants to see you succeed. People who are not bringing you down and spirit is saying your abundance flow is affected by the people with whom you're spending time. Because a lot of these people may have a lack mindset. Show me your company and I'll tell you who you are. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Do things, make friends with people who will push you, encourage you and support you. Spirit is saying, be discerning. Spirit is saying, be wise about your associations and your relationships. No more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom, blossom into reality. Spirit is saying, stop complaining. This is an affirmation as well. When you complain, you're putting it out in the atmosphere and that is coming to life. Whatever you're complaining or griping about, Spirit is saying, take your power back by affirming that you have abundance of choices and freedom. You are free to make choices. You are not stuck as you think you are. You are free to move about. You're free to think. You're free to create whatever life you want. And Spirit is saying when you do this, with this increase in your confidence and your assertiveness, that means you're going to get up and do it. You're a go-getter. You're no longer sleeping on yourself. No more excuses. No more blaming others for your setbacks and your disappointments. You're taking responsibility for yourself, for your life, for your family. Spirit is saying when you do these things, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Speak life into your situation. A lot of this is you speaking and believing in yourself. You have to change some thinking patterns, cut ties, how you look at money, in how you, you think about your finances. Know where your help comes from. Yes, when you show up, you may have a boss as a manager, but God is your source. God provided that job. Spirit wants you to release any grudge, bad feelings you have about money, any bad toxic relationship. Oh, as I get the money, it's finished. I rob Peter to pay Paul. Spirit wants you to take responsibility of your finances because as we do this raise and promotion, Spirit must see that we are responsible and then more will be given unto us. Detox, get rid of negative people. I'm telling you, when you release these negative people, you'll be surprised to see how your money come around. If you want to know if your friends are good, look at your money. Look at your money. The last person or come into your life. Stop complaining. Spirit wants you to get quiet, reflect. In order to do these changes, you need to be in quiet, hermit, by yourself. Change this way of thinking. Write down positive things that you'd like to see happen in your life. The Spirit, moreover, wants you to know that blocks and obstacles are lifted, raise our promotion. If you work for yourself, your business is going to succeed. Your channel is going to grow. Money is coming in. Give thanks. Have faith. You don't see it, but you believe it. Even when you can't see it, the song says, he's working. 
He never stops. He never stopped working for you guys. He never stopped working for us. We have a God who works overtime all the time for us. I hope that you are blessed. Please give these videos a thumbs up so that others can be blessed as well with these messages. Leave a comment if you felt led to do so. If you have not yet subscribed, please I'm asking you to do so. Thank you so very much. Until next time, be blessed.